So I've come up onto Bamford Edge because I've got some filters to try out. And uh, these filters are new from KNF Concept. And the idea is that I've got three filters, all ND grads. I've got uh, an ND8 grad soft, an ND8 grad hard, and an ND8 grad reverse grad, or an ND8 reverse grad. The sun's dropping in the sky really fast. The heather's out, and I'm up on the classic Bamford edge, hopefully to get a good idea of showing you what these do. And I might have to rush through the actual principle of setting them up and taking the shots, but what I'll do is I'll do that, and I'll explain to you after what it is I did and why I've did it, and I hope that helps. So I'm in a bit of a mad rush just to get myself in a location that's quiet enough and that I've got room to breathe and room to talk and a shot to take. I'll be right back. Right, so I've tried to get myself in a position where I've got the sun in the sky, which is pretty bright. And uh, I wanted to show you the differences between these three grads. Uh, k and have sent them to me and asked me if I can get a bit of an image and uh, show how they work. So I've basically got the camera in a vertical mode and I've got all this heather in the bottom corner which is quite dark and I'm going to take I'm going to put my hand in front of the shot just to take a shot so I know which ones I'm talking about so the first shot's going to be f11 focused on the heather in the foreground and then I'll get out one of these filters they come in these big packets as you can see and you can see the sun's right in my face at the moment it's dead bright but the idea behind these filters is this is the reverse grad so I'm going to slide the reverse grad in I've got to spin my filter holder round so it's in the vertical position lock that off so the idea is you slide these in and you can probably see as i slide it in you've got this darker patch across the image uh, sort of there if you can see it and i'm just going to bring that dark patch down and put it over the sun and the idea is to bring the sky back down and to lift the heather slightly so this is shot with the reverse grad and I haven't got long because the sun is dropping quite fast so you just slide it up and down until it sits in a position this is a really good filter for um, sunsets because that's where the brightest part of the sky is so you can see on the filter that you've got the brighter section in the middle so I'm going to swap over now to the next one because I have only got a very short window to show you these so these are actually in my pocket at the moment Put that at the back, take the front one out. The sun is pretty bright facing forwards and I keep staring at it, which doesn't help. This one is the hard grad. So you can see on this one, you've got a harder section and it starts off and it fades in quite hard with a hard line. This is really good for water and would probably work quite well in this situation because the sun and the horizon line is quite low and straight. Uh, when you've got mountains that's where it becomes a bit of a problem so you tend to want to uh, maneuver it and use a soft grad so you're getting uh, the mountains a little bit softer but this is quite a straight line which is quite nice so that one probably works quite well and I'm hoping that you will get to see a difference um, because it's a bit of a rush I'm doing this quite quick so I say I've only got a small window for that sun to stay there. The next one should then be the soft grad and I will do a better explanation and show you these in, in depth in a little while. Yeah, this is the soft ND8. Again, you slide it into your holder. And this has got a softer transition. Not so easy to see on the back of the camera. And it's just about there. It's giving me a, a, a tamer sky at the top. But the sun is still quite bright. So I'll take a couple with that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use the hard grad and the um, reverse grad and put the two of them on together and that should really pull the sun down if I can, if I can get these in your pocket. So I'm going to put the hard grad in and these are all in those nice plastic cases which are really good. So I should be able to get two filters in. So if I drop the hard grad in, put it across the sky level, and then to make it darker still, drop the 
reverse grad and put that over the sun. So I'll get two in and I should be able to darken that top part of the image down a lot. Let's just bring the hard one up a bit. Yeah, let's bring that down. This is going to really tame the sky down and bring the sky down quite dark. And you can hear the shutter is quite low. So let's just see if I can get that balanced a little bit better. I think I may even go to the... There we go, something like that. Now there are people in the images in front and I haven't got the perfect composition, but I just wanted to show you what you can do with these grads. And uh, now I'm going to move forward and see if I can set up another composition for you and see if I can get that to work. So bear with me. And what I'm going to do as well, I'm just going to finish off with a bracket. Finish off with a bracketed shot. And then a single one on my hand to show me that I finished that experiment. And we're going to move forward. And we've got the camera nicely set up and I'm looking down and I've got Heather in the bottom corner and the first shot is going to be focus on the Heather and I'm going to take one plain without any filters and you'll see the sun is really 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 bright and the sky is all blown away but the heather's quite dark which is not ideal for this situation so let's pull these filters out and have a quick look so first of all again we've got the reverse grad and again this is better when it's brighter in the middle which which actually is so if I can get this in the right position to darken that sky down all the colors now popped out and I can see all the texture in the heather so this one works really really well and I may, no, I'm just going to leave that. I'm going to take just the one shot, I think, just to give you an idea of how these work. And then I am going to show you them. And hopefully I'm going to get a nice, a nice evening sunset. So let's go for the next one. What we've got in our hand, this one is the hard grad. This one's probably a pretty good one for this situation as well. Slide it down, slide it down until it's hiding that sunlight, just like that. Beautiful see the texture in the sky, the nice yellow sun over on the left hand side and all that really nice heather that's popping out at the bottom. We'll take that one out and then we'll try the soft grad and I don't think the soft grad's going to be quite as good but you never know until you try do you so we'll give it a go and try it out. So slide the soft grad, they go in really really easy these grads, they really are a nice thing to work with. So I'm just going to slide that down till I'm happy with it, that's not bad and take that shot really nice I've got the reservoir in the background and it uh, just seems to be pretty good it's, it's it's quite nice and again I'm just going to finish off with another plain shot while we can let's put those back in the case and I'm going to drop them back in your pocket and see if I can get another composition slightly different and I've one with my hand in it just so we know that that's the final shot of that section uh, what I could do maybe is give it a spin round and try it on a horizontal. Again, I don't have to just turn that back round to a straight line. This time the sky is a lot bigger or a lot wider and the horizon line's bang in the centre. So if I do the same thing again for you, just spin through the, through the set and you'll get an idea of, again, what they're doing. So, first one is the reverse grad, perfect for sunsets on the sea. Let's have a quick look at this. Yeah, just tilt it over to the left. And you can see on the back of the camera what it's actually doing, but it's very difficult to show you everything at once. Pretty cool. I hope you remember in the order I've got these in. That's a good job I'm talking, isn't it? The next one is probably the hard grad, if I've still kept them in order. It is, and you can see the hardness of the grad. Slide it in, slide it down till it hides that, that sun a bit. Makes the heather at the bottom pop out. And then that's another one done. This is, this is actually quite a good experiment, it's really showing you what they do. And then the final one is the soft grad. 
and I could say the soft grads not quite for this operation you really need the mounting so it softens the transition between the top and the bottom but we'll give it a go and I'll put all the images up on the screen you can see them all together then right and what I will do I think I'm going to keep soft in this time and I'm going to put the reverse in so we've got soft taming the sky down at the top and the reverse which is going to darken that center piece of the image and hopefully make the heather stand out quite nicely in the bottom let's just get that sky tamed down at the top let's double the filters maybe too much but it definitely works well on the sunlight so soft grad out and then the hard grad out really is fumbling around with my fingers this is okay and then a plain one without and then I'm going to do a bracket just to get everything shot right and another single one with my hand in it and all the time I'm talking because then I know what images they are and the sun's going to drop down behind the clouds in a minute so what I'm going to do is just set up a bit of a composition for a final shot I'm going to focus on the heather in the foreground I'm going to wind my aperture to f22 and I'm going to put the reverse grad back in because that's where I want the darkest part of the image right in the middle of the screen for the final one and I think I'm going to have to swap it for the hard grad and be very quick hard grad you can see how easy they are for getting in and out of these cases as well doing all this whilst talking to you so the hard grid goes in somewhere in the middle to tame that sky down and I should get a bit of a sun star with some texture in the sky maybe not the sharpest of sun stars but it's definitely there well, nevertheless now the sun's just dipping down now you can see it's disappearing in front of your face Right, so I've got the video on now and I'm just going to press record on the video and you'll be able to see everything that I do. So I'm going to start off with the soft grad this time, just to give you an idea of what it does when I basically drop it into the filter holder. And you can see it going down through the video now. And as I push it down, you'll see the sky gets a little bit better in the top, but it's also darkening the bottom part of the image a little bit. So the soft grad's not quite not quite there to take the sky down so we'll then try the uh, hard grad and the hard grad will be a lot of a more defined line when it drops down you can see it coming down now and you can bring it down just about enough so that you get the horizon line across there if you see if I lift it up again bring the horizon line down so it just sits across this peak there and you get to still see the heather and now you can see the sky in the top whereas if I take it out of the sky it disappears if you go too far down then obviously darker in the heather as well which is no good so we'll take that one out and then we'll just put the reverse grad in not really the best sky to do this but we'll test it anyway the reverse grad's got a bit of a softer edge to it where it starts and you can just sit drop down there and what it does is once you go past this darker edge here it starts to go light again so you see it's gone light again at the top um, so if you've got a really bright section at the bottom like water you can darken that down and keep the light at the top so it doesn't really work for this situation because it's just going dark in the middle there and you don't really want that so the idea is the best one out of these three would be your hard grad and you get it in position and you just drop it down just so it sits above that horizon line about there it's just giving out a nice texture in the sky and the nice uh, heather in the bottom. All right, so one more. I've got the video 
still in play and this time I'm going to bring the sky up and have some more sky but at the bottom of the image you'll see we've got uh, the reservoir so switch it on you can see the skies all blown out of the top we've got some texture in these rocks but this reservoir is a little bit bright as well so this could be a situation where we might be able to use our reverse grad when I can find it get the reverse grad which is this one you can see it's dark in the middle and then fades up in the top so the idea is then to push that down you can see it coming down through the sky and then we can just rest that maybe over the lake as well over the reservoir the problem what it's doing is it's actually making this section here so this is more of a, a water shot really and again it's bringing the sky down so we can we can try something there you've got a nice texture in the sky but if you go down too low you can see the sky starts to lift up but all this section here is going dark so it doesn't really work for that one again you're probably going back to the hard grad so you can bring your hard grad down bring that sky down on the top and just literally sit that line just on the edge of the horizon there so you've got this nice sky texture up there you've still got the rocks you can see the mountains and the hillside because if i go down too low you see how the hillside disappears there so it's keeping it a balance between the two and then you take your shot something like that explanation done really three uh, large 150 by 100 uh, filters you got hard grad reverse grad and a soft grad they all serve their purpose and they're all much of a muchness uh, you just need to use them all sparingly and uh, have the right situation in sky and atmosphere to make them all work properly but they actually do these in a three stop uh, you got this you got the eight stop, uh, the nd8s you got the nd32s and the nd64s i think as well um, so you'll have like a three six and a nine stop probably um, of these but i will check up and put it up on the screen for you and let you know and these new cases are fantastic they really are good you don't have any fingerprints on the glass because you get to hold on to the plastic bits as well so i think they're really really good they all come in their cases they're nicely presented and the pre presentation days in a box and uh, they work very very well and as you know this this filter also comes with a um, polarizer that drops in the top so i'll just uh, do a bit of an overlay and show you how that works but your polarizer goes in and if you want to polarize the sky as well you get that option and you can spin it on the side so it all works very very well so i just sort of just quickly show you the polarizer so you pull the clip up drop our polarizer in if you get it the right way around it goes in perfectly and you can spin i don't know whether i'll get any video whether this works in the sky or not no it's not not going to do it on an image but that's how you get it to work uh, polarizer sits inside there as well once it's locked in it can't fall out and it's trapped inside and in your grads or your ND filters because you come with ND filters as well in this kit if you put your ND filter in they slide in front of that so you can still use your polarizer behind they work very very well and I've got to say this is one of the nicest kits I've seen for a long time And it belongs to Mrs. C. So I need to take it home and give it to her. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Give us that thumbs up. And uh, yeah, see you on the next one. Bye bye.